Okay, I'm introducing our off-board gas distribution assembly. Uh, this is maker model or brand of rebreather agnostic. These principles can be applied to any unit. Uh, so in its simplest form, a mixed gas rebreather simply needs uh, a single diluent gas tied into the ADV or the auto diluent valve. Um, I like that to be an off-board connection so I have some control over what supplies the ADV for the given dive. In this case, for presentation purposes, I have a T-piece off of our RD1 rebreather. So the ADV puck is here within which our standard second stage internals. Uh, I have a low pressure hose, which could be any length to suit, and then our gas distribution assembly. So there's several features here which are important. Uh, we have a CEJN or Sequest style high flow nipple, so it's got the wide bore for high flow. Uh, then through an on-off slider, which allows us to essentially feather the ADV in the case that we're free flowing. Uh, we can shut that valve on and off right here uh, at our fingertips. And the direction of that valve is that it flows towards the device being supplied. So. Uh, we have gas in, and then to turn the ADV on, we slide with, uh, with flow or towards the ADV. To shut off, we would slide uh, back towards the supply. When it's off, we see a red ring. When it's on, we see a green ring. So on, off. Then the gas flows through a high flow non-return valve. Now, this is an important component uh, because in the event the uh, supply uh, supply hose bursts or the quick disconnect were accidentally released um, while the line was active we wouldn't lose gas back through the um, through the valve uh, this this hose um, that supplies the ADV would remain pressurized should this pop free so quite simply we plug in the diluent of choice, always um, a gas that's suitable for the intended depth. We would turn the ADV on, and if need be, we shut the ADV off. Now, by contrast, and for sake of discussion, uh, I'm showing this assembly, which is often used in this application, but incorrectly done so. And reason being, the non-return valve is on the wrong side of the slider. Um, so we have the same nipple, which is good, non-return valve, and then the on-off slider. Now the reason why this is not a great assembly in this application is that if the slider are off and the supply hose disconnected, we now have a volume of gas trapped between the seat of the non-return valve and the off mechanism of the slider that has nowhere to go. So we're at depth, uh, hose is disconnected, slider is off, uh, then we're ascending, that volume of gas is trying to expand, so pressure is increasing, and it, we have no way to vent that gas. From a deep enough depth, um, this assembly could blow apart and cause an injury to the diver, um, which of course isn't a good thing. So it's in this application uh, where we have a single supply to the ADV. Uh, it's very important to have the slider followed by the non-return valve and that way the gas uh, always has somewhere to go which would be down towards the ADV. In a subsequent video uh, I'll expand on this assembly and introduce some added functionality with a BOV or other bailout regulator and then again uh, with a manual add valve. So we're going to build off this basic principle uh, and continue to add functionality to the diluent side of our mixed gas rebreather.